even know so many levels anymore. Okay, cool. Alright, so we're gonna do some, some Delver's Drop. And go from from there. We'll see what weapons I've got. I'm gonna let Doom decide. Doom, it's up to you. What class do I take? This 30 second twitch delay thing really kind of sucks. Actually. Gladiator, I had a feeling that he was going to say that, but... Alright, so for those of you who don't know what this is, and that may be everyone but Joran and, and Doom, um, this is Delver's Drop, it is a top-down roguelike with puzzle and narrative elements. Not exactly sure uh, how to put it, because I'm kind of brain-dead right now. The fuck? Since when does it say me there? I don't know! Uh... That's weird, because Vacant had that problem, too. So, this is in very early alpha. This is 1.4.2... Or, 0.4.2. Apologies, it's not even 1. Um, so, the goal is to find the trigger room and kill all the enemies. Doom, of course, picked the one class that I am completely terrible with. So, this should be fun. But, I am definitely better at this game than I am at Nuclear Throne. So, um... It shouldn't be quite as painful to watch. And we'll do a run here and then uh, probably... I don't know, Jordan. Uh, Vacant fixed it, but I don't know how he did that. Um, by the way. Oh, yes, I should change that. Sorry, thank you uh, for letting me know to change the name. Uh, I usually don't change... Um... There we go. Um... Okay, it is updated. Alright, alright. That should be it. Alright. Um, this is... Uh, will, this will be on Steam. They got greenlit. Um, you can pre-order the game. I will have... A, I'll put a link in the description below here in a second. Um... Pre-order the game at delversdrop.com slash pre-order. Alright, there we go. Um, so, now we should be on track to beating this, beating this game. So, there are a variety of enemies. The spider being the more, one of the more obnoxious ones. They like to leap across and do a lot of damage. Uh, the best way to handle that is just to kind of trick them into jumping and then they'll follow you for a little while and that's when you can kill them. I'm also using the rusty version of the gladiator's core weapon right now and it does some pretty awful awful damage. Um, not as bad as the rusty machete though. So again this is in super super early alpha. Oh and ghosts that's always good. Doom is a sadistic man, and as you can see, the, the ghosts like to shoot bolts of fire and do a lot of damage. And believe me, we're not even out of the woods yet. There's three more levels to go, or four more levels to go, actually. I hate ghosts as the gladiator. Alright. We're not dead yet. Ah, this thing. Doom, curse you, Doom. That's the last time I let you decide anything. Just die. This is definitely my, my game of the year pick for anyone watching. Um, having followed it as long as I followed it, this is going to be an awesome game. 
I can't sing this game's praises more than enough. And the developers are super awesome and wonderful people, so you should support them as well. And I don't even think they're listening for me to have said that, so uh, it is 100%. Vlast don't go new mode. Is that... A is that stage fright? It must be stage fright! Usually, I- well, I suck at the gladiator anyway, but, um, it probably is a little bit of stage fright. Not used to having so many people watching me. <laughs> it's all so scary. Alright, down we go. I've beat the game with less health before, I'm not worried. Would have liked to have played the rogue. <laughs> but is actually an exploding box. And there are plague rats that will explode as well. I'm not hitting that box because it does a lot of damage. You can fall into pits and die. All in all, game game's got a pretty good difficulty curve, except for you know maybe Doom and I, um, because we've both logged so many hours onto the game that uh, it doesn't really matter to us anymore. It's got a robust physics engine as well. Oh, audio cut off again. I don't... I don't know, Doom. I don't know what to tell you. In the middle of my laughter. And it's back. That's weird. It might. It must be an OBS thing. But it, it may be my mic. I don't know. I don't know. It's, everything seemed fine when in the recordings I did yesterday, so... I think it might just be a Twitch thing. Hard to say. Came back quickly though, that's nice. Um, up we go. At least the, the stream seems not to be stuttering or anything other than the audio. So. So those are candle wraiths you guys can see in the corner there. Ah, oh, the gladiator is so bouncy, and that really frustrates me because it doesn't make any sense. Um, the Candle Wraith will shoot out blazelings, these little fire things, and they are really obnoxious, but they're also one of my favorite enemies. Yes, the, up the game is going to get a big update here, I think in the next week or two, um, which will put in their weapon system. It's going to be like a Borderlands-esque weapon system. Uh, I think the the number that I saw, and I'm pretty sure they said it was a conservative estimate, was 38 million varieties of weapon. So I am I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, I'm pretty sure... Ugh, I hate you, spiders. If I die, this will be the first time I've died in a long time. The the gladiator is kind of underpowered right now. Um, his damage isn't that high compared to the other two classes. Um, and his weapons are slower, and he's slower in, in general. So, um, definitely not my preferred class uh, to, to get things done with, but... He's going to get a nice overhaul as well. Um, he's going to get a shield dash, and I'll show the shield dash because I don't usually use that. So we also have a shield that we can use to block damage, and we can also dash and hop. And as you can see, with the gladiator, the hop's not all that big, and neither is the dash because he's a big old heavy guy. So we got to the next trigger room. And as you can see, the trigger rooms have a variety of of methods that they can be. There's the four trigger room, the one trigger room, there's sometimes trigger rooms with boxes, which will give you health and stuff. A lot of variety. Uh, I should have gone down. 
Um, there will- I think there's gonna be a map, kind of. I don't remember exactly what they said it was gonna be like. There we go. And, uh, we're- we're- we're kinda coasting, basically. That's how I basically run with the melee classes. I'm much better with the sorcerer. I may do a sorcerer run after this showcase another class, since there are actually quite a few people here. More, more than usual, actually, so. Um, definitely one of my favorite games. Go and pre-order it. And and give Pixelscopic lots and lots of money. Alright. I, I guess I, I think... Yeah, I, I do too. Doom said I think the trigger room is going to go away, and I, I think that's right. Yeah, um, the, the, the ep update that is coming after this one is going to be an overhaul of the, the room system to include a lot more puzzles and traps and stuff. That's that's one thing that's not very present in the game right now, and they, they, they want to fix that. Um, which will be... I mean, it'll be awesome when it happens. It's just getting it to that stage. Um, they're doing a lot of, like, keystone kind of updates. The, the first one has to be the weapon system and the item system because that's one that they've been wanting to include for the last couple months and they're slowly getting that. Um, they did a stream last week thurs Thursday that they showcased a lot of the weapons. It's going to be like claws and axes and flails. The health is bugged right now. Yes it is. The health is indeed bugged. Um, and I don't think they know how to fix what's causing it, either. Um, so this is another one of the trigger rooms that I was talking about. We get a shield. Uh, the bug that Doom is talking about is, as you can see, I don't have... So they make the dungeons a bit more Zelda-esque. Yes, Joran, that is the idea. Legend of Zelda is definitely one of the main things. It is! I This, this game, he says it sounds really interesting. I really am excited for this game. Uh... There's gonna just be so much to this game that I, I think, I think, for now it's kind of flying under the radar. But once the 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 dungeon overhaul gets done, and I think as they start adding more story elements and more levels, because there's gonna be nine levels with bosses and mini bosses. Uh, th this game is gonna be really fucking awesome. Maybe we should play and will not be in the game anymore. Yeah, uh, Kobe basically said. If you like a certain room, play it as much as you can because they're gonna go away. And or if they don't go away, they're not gonna be a, a, a style that you guys recognize anymore. So um, I'm I'm excited to see a couple rooms disappear forever. I'm also really sad to see a couple rooms disappear, but at the same time, I know that we're gonna get a lot of really cool stuff regardless. Room generation will encompass stuff like rare rooms and interlocked rooms. Yes. Um, this style room is one of the styles of rooms that I'm going to be really glad to see gone. Um, it kind of breaks the flow. It's really big. It's filled with enemies. The traps aren't particularly dangerous to you. And yes, this game is going to have crazy mod ability. Thank you for bringing that up, Doom. Um, and they have been very open about their their mod set, so um, this this game is gonna have pretty much anything you could possibly want in a game. So I look I look forward to seeing the mod community explode. I look forward to seeing just the community in general explode with this game. And health is no longer bugged. I'm actually at full health. That's really nice. Well, I was at full health. Uh, this is actually a really quick run. So. This is my least favorite trigger room, more because it's just obnoxious than anything else. It just it slows you down. But at the same time, I really like how it kind of throws a, a monkey wrench in your plans. So I, I would actually like to see Joran Go Go Steam Workshop. Yeah, I think they mentioned that they're going to have Steam Workshop integration. So I think we're on the fifth floor, uh, which is a bug in itself. There will only be four floors in the final version. Um... Uh, we keep telling them about Steam Workshop. They they mentioned it in the, the Thursday holiday stream. I think the plan is to integrate with Steam Workshop eventually. 
don't quote me. Um, I, I could ask Baker, but um, I don't want to bring up Steam or pester him right now on his holiday. So, um, or, or Kobe either, um, for that matter. So... Okay, the music cut out, which is... Nope, there it is. It just went really quiet. So this is definitely a room that can be uh, problematic because two ghosts can can be difficult, but that wasn't bad. I, I managed that fairly well. You'd think I would be able to play this game better. I keep telling them the fifth floor. No, no, no. There's only going to be four floors, Doom. Um... There's gonna be three floors with mini bo with mini bosses, and then there's gonna be a fourth floor, which is gonna be the boss floor. At least that's what I remember uh, Kobe saying. Maybe it changed. I don't I don't think it did. I asked him about the fifth floor right when it started, and he said he had no idea why that was or where it was. So um, I even did a bit bug report for it. it. It's definitely not supposed to be here. But they didn't take it out, so I I don't know. Maybe the plan has changed. But that number of floors per state, but the no yeah, I think that's true. Actually, I forget. It's been a long time since I've looked up all that information. I've been mostly focused on the weapons and the elemental lore and stuff. The the webs the the forums are a really good source of information. One floor being gigantic. That'd be really cool. Yeah, the game the game's gonna be really varied overall. Um, which is really cool. I don't know I, I is the floor number gonna be randomized? I don't think it's gonna be. But that'd be pretty good, but only one floor. Yeah, yeah. Makes me kinda wish that we um oh shut up AVG. There there are no threats that you protected me from. Every time I bring you up you just show zero. Then I'll go to bad sites. Thank you for going away. Awesome. These slimes don't really pose much of a threat, but they can bounce into you, and they do a lot of damage. They do a one heart of damage each. And the goblins do um, two shield. The Oh, well, I guess we're going in this room. This is one of those rooms that I was talking about that I'm going to be really happy to see go. It's filled with nothing but bats, and it's super big, and I think there's like 15 to 20 bats in here. And it's obnoxious, and I think even the devs have said they don't particularly like this. Um, but the floor number is set different by stage. Yes, okay. Doom is up on his his floor stuff better than I. Just die. I'm pretty sure this is the room that Kobe was talking about in the last program stream that he did. And it's a dead end, so this has just been pointless and stupid. It would be nice to see vampire bats. There's going to be a lot of variety of, of enemies. A lot of elemental enemies. I think there's, what, nine elements in, in the Delver's Drop world? I think something like that. Merc Radiant, Fury Surge, Font Foundation, Strike, and one more that I don't think we have a name for. I think Sunder was one that Doom and I were talking about, but I forget what it's called now. And here's one of those other big rooms that's a pain in the ass. This feels like a fourth, the fourth floor, but I think this is actually the fifth floor. There we go. Keeping an eye on chat. The shot. Ooh. Hate this room. Five unique variants of bats alone. Yes, and they all look fucking awesome. I believe- oh! Trigger room, awesome. I believe Nathan is doing a lot of the stuff Sunder might become spoiled. Right, okay. 
But it's not called Sunder. I didn't think. Or is it is it called Sunder now? I can't remember. I'm being real bad with <laughs> my Delver's Drop lore right now. I think that was the last floor. I'm paying attention to chat more than I'm paying attention to... There we go. That... Just in case that that wasn't the last floor and I miscounted. Alright, well. No point in... Uh, I think that was just the fourth floor. Nope, that wasn't. Okay. I'm gonna take out the sorcerer real fast. Um, right now it's Sunder. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna take out the sorcerer. We have the big shot, doubled big shot fury bender. Uh, each class except the gladiator has four different weapons they can they can choose from right now. It's all randomized. Um, there's a rusty version of each weapon, and the sorcerer gets one called the triplic, which shoots out three fireballs, but its damage got way reduced. Um. It used to be easily the most overpowered weapon, but it is no longer. The Big Shot is obviously pretty powerful. It's the most damaging of the of the wands in straight damage. Um, they increased its range from the last build, and they also incre decreased its damage. Um, and I don't know how I... F I don't know. I really liked the original Big Shot. It was very, very short-ranged, very, very high damage, and I kind of wish we could have it back. Uh, there's also an issue with um, collision with your with the fireballs, which is why they were sail sailing over those um, smaller pots. Um, that is a holdover from the previous build as well, so I don't know what didn't and did get fixed. There's a lot of stuff that does get fixed, um, and I... that. I don't think I highlight very much. Um, oh, overall, and there are these like storerooms which are pretty cool. Oh, and a spider-heavy seed today, and that was the wrong way anyway. All right, this is definitely my most preferred class. I'm I'm the strongest with it. I already came in here and already found out that it was bad. This is what happens when I'm distracted. Hopefully showcase a couple of the, the cooler rooms. As a sorcerer, of course, I can hit those stupid fury boxes and kind of float. Each class has its own speed, and you can you can see I have a different hop than the gladiator did. It's much bigger. So each class has a varied movement as well. Richard is in charge of pinning down the... Yes. Yes, I believe he is a uh, hide-and-seek on the forums. And he's 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 addressed a lot of them, um, from what I've seen, so that's pretty cool. Um, a lot of people think the Sorcerer is overpowered. I, uh, I don't necessarily think he's as overpowered as everyone else thinks he is, but... Um, I think when we see more weapons, we'll be able to really pin down what's overpowered and what's not overpowered. Yeah, there's a lot of interns. Um, there is Zelly Zephyr, who is PR. He does a lot of tweets and stuff like that. He answers a lot of the emails that people send in. Um, there's Kurt, who does animation. I think he does a lot of, of enemy animation. There's Nathan, who I think also does a lot of enemy animation. Um, there is Miriam, who works on the tiles, um, Renee, who's the story writer, I know I'm forgetting some, they have a couple contractors too, Wand R.O.P., and... Oh, uh, the ding sound was Pixelscopic's website, oh, and we already got ourselves to... Let's see, let's turn that off real fast. Hey, Quaddy. Quaddy to nuclear that throne. 
I will nuclear that throne, Quaddy. Uh, sorry for the, the blooping and bleeping there. This was a very nice and easy floor. Um, which was nice. <laughs> I really hate when every floor is just nothing but spiders. Um, and stuff like that. So, we'll, let's see if we... Oh, I'm not gonna jinx it. Every time I say it. Ah, oh, hello there, Quaddy! We're doing some Delver's Drop. Now, we've we finished up with Nuclear Throne. No more nuclearing that throne. You you missed it by like 15 minutes. Just Delver and Dat Drop. Yes, sir. And tomorrow we'll be doing some darkening of them souls, as it were. This was just kind of impromptu. I didn't really have anything planned. So, um, shame on me, I guess. It's the holiday season. How was everyone's holidays? I forgot to ask, and many apologies for that. You can also hit those... Base drop. Ah, oh, I wish we had the bard. But yeah, I hope everyone had a, a good vacation. I know uh, Fourth is, or New Year's is good. And is coming up, which should be pretty fun. That's the holiday to be in my family. That was always the holiday that was super big. I love chat. And next week there may be some bordering the lands as well. Oh, took damage. Oh well. I forgot that rats did two two shield, or uh, yeah, half shield, I should say. But yeah, more more games are coming. I'd like to include more people in the stream. Uh, you know, I, I'll be talking to people after the vacation and, and getting things pinned down. Uh, we may be doing Outlast on Sundays, myself and friend of the channel, Vault Monkey. Yes, join with your level 44. Quad, Quaddy, um, friend of the channel, Quaddy here has Borderlands 2. I also got Borderlands 1. Um, I've been talking to uh, Ryan Baker, the, the art developer for Delver's Drop. He may be joining in some... Quad, you seem like a Siren player. What do you think I play, Doom? I guess that's a good question. I don't think Doom will, will uh, guess correctly. But yes, uh, the, the one time I... I Quad and I have actually played... Um, Borderlands 2 just a little bit together long long time ago I don't know if he actually remembers that it was a fun experience oh there are three ghosts that's um, an unpleasant surprise Doom's gonna say I probably play Psychic Power Strike again. This room is much more manageable when I don't have to run up and hit things. Oh, there are ghosts. Oh, there are ghosts. You're not gonna guess. That's no fun. You'd probably get it right, Doom. Oh, there was a lot of ghosts in this room. This would have been a nightmare as the, the gladiator. I'm glad I didn't hit this one. Alright, I think everything's dead. Oh, curses! <laughs> Another nothing but bat level! I hate them, I hate them so much. I could join in with other characters though, most everybody I have is either super low or super high. Well, I think the, the plan, Quaddy, is gonna be starting from scratch. Because I only have two characters, one is like level 50 or 60, and the other one is like level 10. 
That's really bad. Pun there, Doom. Really bad. I don't even know. Oh, I'm gonna run into the yep. Okay, I can't get distracted by chat. <laughs> it makes me play worse. But yeah, I think that I think that would work best if we all just started from scratch. I have all the class DLC and stuff, so I think that was the fourth floor. I think so. Yes. Oh, don't crash on me. Long load time. I th oh, there we go. It woke up. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I love this floor. I love this. I love this room. I love everything about what's going on right now. <laughs> I can't wait to see more and new enemies. These these enemies, man. I've seen them so much. They're like a bad girlfriend. She just never leaves. I want to see the discus of death. Die. I hate bats. I hate it. I hate everything right now. Zilly said that they were coming. So, I don't know. There was there's a room in um Endless Drop mode where you can't actually access lance bugs, cradle snakes, force elementals, bag of bones and another skeletal type thing. Yeah, there's going to be like zombies. The bag of bones are going to be like a mimic type thing. Um, I don't remember what the coil snakes are going to be. I've seen the pictures. Those have been in the game files forever. Okay. Um, Force Elemental is one of the elemental types. And it looks really badass. Um, the blazelings are like baby elementals. Which is really cool. I don't think we've seen... Have we seen a picture of the coil snake? I feel like we have. In the one art stream that, that Baker did. And I, I know I've seen the Lance Bug. I don't know where I've seen it, but I know I've seen it. I think maybe in another art stream. That's basically... Oop. Basically where all the, the enemies have been showcased. This is a large floor. Or I'm just really bad at picking directions. That's probably it. Ah, in the game files. Okay. Yeah, in the stream as well. Yeah, I know the snake was. It looks really cool. Showing off a good variety of, of room types. Again, they're all gonna disappear at the end of the at the end of the update, but 
Maybe they're just compiling the dungeon update and the other update together. That seems like a lot of work, though. Ah, oh, here we are. Alright. So, I'm definitely going to do more Delver's Drop as well on stream when the update comes. Again, this was just kind of impromptu and last minute. So... It's a good game to play on the, on the fly. And now I don't have to do a video today. So, that's nice as well. So... No pipes, though. No, no steam pipes. Unfortunately. I think that was the last floor. Yep. Alright, guys. Well, it's been fun. Again, I wanted to do a stream today. But, um, not go whole hog with Dark Souls and all that. So, I thank everyone for coming out. I hope you guys have a good New Year's celebration and all that. And we will be back next Friday on the 3rd. That will be the next time that we stream. Maybe some Dark Souls, maybe some Borderlands 1 or 2, whichever people are able to do. And um, I guess I will uh, see you then.